Hey everybody, everybody in Clayland. We are live. We have some heart fun to continue from last week. Um, I am using Ecamm, so at the top you should see a little thing. If you would like me to be able to call out your name, if you click on that, that lets Ecamm see your Facebook name. That's all it does. So that if you have a comment, I can actually see who it is and um, actually address you by name other than Facebook user. Um, so, and if you don't, that's fine. I've got my phone here to see who you are. So I see, and good afternoon to Diane and Kim and Edie and Skyla and Sherry um, and Kathy and Jen. I saw Ritu a second ago. Um, so good evening. Again, we're going to play with hearts, um, again, because it is, it is that month. Whoops, I'm trying to make this stand up. Hi, Patricia. Um, let's see who else is on here that I didn't say hi to. Jen and Lana. Um, I'm driving solo tonight, so I'm trying to hold that up. Um, <clears throat> so when we start our videos, um, some of them I will commentate verbally because my dogs pulled out the plug of my microphone and I didn't know it, um, which is fine. And, um, some of them, hi, Teresa and Peggy, and some of them actually will, um, have the normal sound, but either way, it will be great. Um... How is everybody tonight? Hi, Nancy Jean. <clears throat> I know it takes a few minutes for you to get through. And so, um, hey there, Cindy. I see you, I see you saw that I did that baby for you. Um, I believe I have them up on the website um, from what, a couple weeks ago, week ago, whatever. So that's up there. Tonight, we are going to play with the new Whimsical Heart that we came out with a few weeks back. Um, I slabbed a Fab Society. Oh, thanks. It, uh, it is so windy here that nothing will work. Um, very cold, very high winds. So the new Whimsical Heart, my Slab to Fab Society got a chance to look at those. We played with those last week, and we're going to do those again this week in my Slab to Fab Society. Um, but here in Create, we're also going to take a look at um, the hearts as well. Um, as you know, the hearts were our very first shape ever that we came out with last year. No, a couple years ago, we came out with our hearts. And we have evolved them into different shapes and um, have done different things with them. And this year, the whimsical heart, um, I have to say, has my heart. It is my favorite. Um, I love the swoop of the whimsy. Just like if you've seen me work with my curvaceous, I love the swoop of my curvaceous. Um, please tell me you all are hearing me. I sometimes forget to turn my mic back on, so... Please let me know that you are hearing me. And um, let's see. Again, I do have a couple videos that are soundless, but I can talk through those, right? I can talk through those. Oh, good. You guys can hear. Perfect. Okay. So I want to start with the evolution. No, I'll start that later. We are going to start with we are going to take the baby, the whimsical heart baby, and I'm going to show you how to make it. And I want to tell you, it's super quick. So this is one of the videos that my dogs had pulled the mic out. So I'm going to talk through it. So I'm going to go ahead and start that video. You will see me in the upper right corner doing my talking with my hands, blah, blah, blah. And what I'm saying to you, um, if I'm freezing up, it's probably Peggy on your end because nobody else is having an issue and I'm on like super high speed internet. You might want to go out and come back in. Hey Cindy. 
So when you see me up in the corner just talking away, ignore that because I'm going to be talking through that um, from here instead of the one that what that I was talking in the video because again my dogs had pulled out the mic cord and I did not know that. So let's start this um, this video. Okay, so ignore me up in that top corner. Um, and so what I'm gonna do here, and I don't know if I can actually put me, oh, hey, how about that? I can fit me up there. Ah, hide the old me. Anyway, so I'll, we're gonna be working on the baby. So I have just a little bitty slab of clay. Um, it is my typical B mix. It is only a quarter inch thick because I'm not texturing this or anything. So as usual, I'm just gonna compress this and um, I want to make sure I do compress it on both sides. Um, but again, look at the tiny little piece of clay. I got a hair in my clay, sorry. Um, do have my hair down, which is unusual. And when I do that, I get hair in my clay. Um, you can't see it, but it drives me crazy. So here's my little tiny slab. And this is our little baby whimsical and the lip template. The lip template can help you cut around that part, but it is definitely not necessary. Um, this one is the baby whimsical um, form. See, that's got that um, 45 degree or that angle on it and the drop down. The one on my left is the dual drape and it's got the rounded top to it. Um, so in the bottom of your dish, this one that I'm holding, will be nice and round and have no lines whatsoever. Um, and so this is the one that we're going to use tonight um, for these babies that we're gonna do. And I will tell you that these, well, these are the small of our forms. We've always had the five inch forms, but um, these little guys are so quick and so fast. And then if you glaze them the way I'm doing tonight, you could sit and make 10 or 15 of these in an hour and in about 30 minutes, have them all glazed and ready for your bisque fire. When you put it in the bisque fire, wait till you see what they will come out. If you saw my post today, that big heart was fresh from the bisque and that's how good they look. So what I'm doing is I'm putting this on my super bat banding wheel system. I put my lip template down, I put my heart over it, and then I am just going to kind of press this down with my hands, which I've always done. Press this down. Um, again, I've got that rounded top, so I don't have to worry about cracking it or, or thinning it out or anything. Um, so look at that shape come to life already. Look at that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my yellow rib and I'm gonna just kind of go across the top and kind of flatten that out. And then I'm switching right away to um, my red rib. Now, I'm gonna bend this, as you can see, <laughs> I'm trying to show you by hand. I'm gonna bend this and go around the top because again, it is very, very rounded. Oh, I am much better. This is very, very rounded, so I don't have to worry about creasing that or cracking my clay up there. So I'm gonna take this rib, go around that edge because I want my bowl to have that nice rounded shape, and that's what I'm doing here. Then I'm gonna go around the outside edge because I want that clay up against my form and I wanna be able to see that lip template underneath. Um, I chose to use the lip template on these because it gives me a nice, good cut using my needle tool, which you're going to see in just a second. Um, it is so nice to have a voice back. I didn't think it was ever going to come back. I didn't think I was ever going to stop coughing. In fact, my teeth are so sensitive because I have slept with cough drops. Yes, I know better but I have slept with cough drops for a month just to make it through the night. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna take my little sponge and I'm gonna sponge off the crumbs. 
Now I could do that afterwards, but I'm, I'm really funny. I like my crumbs off before I cut. Now, then I'm gonna have to wipe them off again, but I like to take that sponge and really go into the little crevices and that little whimsy curve and really see what I'm doing. But again, I do not have texture on this one. These little baby hearts, um, when you see the way I'm glazing them, it is so fast, so gorgeous. Um, again, my Slab to Fab Society got a sneak peek of this last week. They get, they usually get the first preview. Um, and we have several classes with this form in our Slab to Fab Society coming up. Um, so, I am now gonna take my needle tool. I see Rachel and Christine and Doreen. So I'm gonna take my, my needle tool and I'm just cutting some of this excess off. Then I'm gonna take it straight up and down and I'm gonna come in and I'm going to find that lip template. Um, so I'm gonna come straight in, I'm gonna find that lip template and then I'm gonna move my super bat system around and cut straight around that lip. Um, for these dual drapes, sometimes the lip does make it um, much easier to get around and get a good shape. Now, if you like miss some of it, you, you can't see from here, but if you look around the side, you will see if some of the clay's hanging down. And if it is, just stick your needle tool right back in and come around. In fact, I think I might be doing that now. And you'll see, just come straight up beside it and you'll get some of those little tiny pieces off. Um, but it works so well with these lips. Now, these lip templates for, for this, I made very close. So it's just a tiny little edge because you all ask for a, a, a small lip. I may do two sets of, of lip templates, one that's barely anything and then one maybe that comes out Mm, a half an inch, kind of like um, the lip templates did on my original hearts because that's gorgeous also. And I'm going to show you kind of the evolution of where my hearts have gone and um, where they are today um, because we were pulling them out, lining them all up, and I was like, oh my gosh, we have come so far in these last few years in, in shapes. Um, we love the fun, crazy shapes. So that is how quick you make those little hearts. And I'm gonna flip it over in just a second, but I wanna say hi to, who have I missed? So let me look on here, let's see. Um, Sharon and Tracy and Karen and Shelly and Cookie, and Rachel, Christine, and Liz, and Carla, and Catherine. Oh my gosh, so many people, that's exciting. Hi, April. So, these little hearts, like I said, you can flip them over that clay and cut around that lip, and they're so small that I was flipping these out like almost immediately. They, you can flip them out so quickly. So let me show you, um, hi Diane, let me show you, hey Barbara, let me show you um, how quickly, where's my video, how quickly I was able to flip that out. It was just a few minutes.
work. Oh, yeah. Let me let me hide. Let me hide the bad me. So I love the extra. Is my sound off again? Oh, I think it was when I paused the video. I'm sorry. I love that extra whimsy. So I take my finger in and scoop that. But look at that. That's a 10 minute. Yes, that would make a great trinket dish. So that is a 10 minute dish. Do you see the roundness and the gorgeousness of that sound or of that? You, my sound should be back on you guys. Um, I had paused the video and didn't realize when I paused the video, the sound would go off. So give it a second, it'll catch right up. Let me know when you hear me so I'll keep talking. Am I back yet? Okay, I'm back. Okay, so I was just saying the same thing. I, again, I paused my video so I could say some extra stuff and I didn't realize that would pause my, pause me as I was talking. Anyway, this is like a 10 minute heart. I mean, seriously, a 10 minute heart. Um, and look at that, that whimsy shape. Oh my gosh. Now I love my real hearts, my regular hearts, but this whimsy, has my heart, as I said before. Um, again, I'm just showing the difference between the um, form and the, um, the dual drape. I prefer the rounded edge because I can get it straight up, but I do use those um, angled ones or I use my dual drape to create an angle. This is a dish that I made now this, if you can see that texture, that's my new rolling pin for Valentine's. That is called Oh My Heart. And those hearts are amazing. Um, I will get that up. I have not even put that up on the website yet, but I will get that up. So let's go, let's see. I think that's the end of this one. And then we're gonna start, yes, we are going to start blazing some of these in the next video. Let me see if I have any questions. Um, let's see, I do not see any questions. So I am gonna go, I'm gonna move on. Where am I at? I'm having a hard time seeing. This should be the third. Take it off the mute. Put me over me, sorry about that. Okay, so this was, was our rattle that we did in the Slab to Fab Society last year. And if you see, it's kind of, I was trying to show, if I'd stop shaking it, I was kind of trying to show that it also had that whimsy look. Um, in my, yes, in my video, Catherine, I am using the dual drape. The one I'm holding up right now with the flared out edges, that was the form with the um, angled sides. Um, that's the angled sides. And this we did last week in Slab the Fab. I was just showing them the new form and um, just kind of was getting a feel for it with them. So what we're going to do is a little bit of glazing like this. I don't uh, do a lot of this online, but what I found out was I am a gloss girl. I love the glossy glazes, which is why I love these stroking coats so much. Absolutely love these stroking coats. When you bisque fire them, they're super, super glossy. So that's what I was telling you with that. And of course, you know, I love my red Soho cups to put my glaze in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out with, um, the cottontail, which is a white. I'm gonna shake this up and I'm gonna pour it into my solo cup. I broke the lid last week, I dropped it. So I'm gonna pour, <laughs> speaking of dropping, dropped my solo cup. Anyway, um, I'm gonna use the um, cottontail, which is a white, and I'm gonna glaze both of these in white and I'm go going to put three coats on. Now, I'm not going to keep you on here while I do all three coats, but I will while I'm doing part of them. 
Um, so as I'm glazing, as you've seen people glaze, my, in fact, my fan brush has seen its better days. I need to get some new ones. Um, while you're watching me glaze this, my kiln has been a fit for the last year, as most of you know. Um, it is finally completely kapui. It will bisque fire, but I can't get it to the temps to completely fire. We have replaced everything. So I have actually ordered my, my first complete brand new kiln. And it is a Paragon because we live not very far from Paragon. And on Wednesday, it's going to be ready. I will go pick it up. Several reasons for Paragon. One, it's close by. I can pick it up. And two, of all of the kilns that we talked about and called, Paragon had the fastest turnaround time. And that could be because I'm right here. I don't know. Um, but, um, and it could be because I got it through Jill at Texas Pottery Supply and she lit a fire under them for me because she is a sweetheart. Um, anyway, I will be picking that up on Wednesday. So we will have all of this stuff to, to actually glaze and hoping by Friday we have a huge kiln opening in that brand new kiln. Um, the old one, we all, we will keep to do bisque fires in. It is great for bisque and I'll keep the new one. Like I said, my first new kiln because, you know, I've had used ones that have worked great um, until now. So it is what it is, right? It is a Viking 28, um, and we're super, super excited. Anyway, so I'm going to, um, again, put a coat on this. This is sitting on my banding wheel. Um, do you notice the whimsy shape of that heart and the whimsy shape of my curvaceous, my other favorite shape? I just like those little swoops. I think they can give your projects so much character, and you can swoop them deeper or you can not have as much swoop depending on your personality and your likes. So I love that. What projects have you guys been working on? Anything fun and exciting? Stick it in the comments um, and let me know what you're working on or let me know what you have in mind for these whimsy hearts. Now this does come from a five inch all the way up to a 14. And the, the lip templates will be the same. But um, can you imagine, while I'm waiting for you guys to give me some ideas, can you imagine a Valentine party that has these as little dessert trays or have a whole set? Um, they can be Valentine parties, bridal parties, weddings, Mother's Day, um, kids tea parties, just candy dishes. They can be all kinds of things. There is just let your imagination run crazy. No, you're not seeing the templates yet, Cindy, because I ran out of time before we went live, but I'm going to sit here um, as soon as my Slab to Fab Society live is over and get those posted up there. The hearts that I'm glazing tonight, Deb, are the my baby, my five inch. We are our small size that we've always had, um, but I call them my babies. Um, these are the baby hearts. So let me see, did I miss any questions? Drape, yes, that's the drape. Templates, nope, not there yet. Had hand surgery. Who had hand surgery? Oh, Nancy, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, how it's so hard to stay out of clay, isn't it? Um, well, I hope you heal quickly, Nancy. Um, Jen says, make candles in them. Great idea. Um, use them as a dough bowl. A dough bowl. I can't say that. Um, that's a great idea. Planters. Um, planters is a great idea. Um, let me see. I guess I must have missed some other ideas. Stacy Geller Quest says, I just ordered that swirl heart. Yes, these are our whimsical hearts. They're so sweet. Um, 
So planters and dough bowls, something like the swoopy heart. Wedding favors, wedding favors, yes. The swoopy heart, ooh, I like that name. Who said that? Chris Campbell. I like swoopy. Um, <laughs> I like swoopy. Okay, let's go on to watching some very quick, very awesome uh, glazing. Now, with the stroke and coats, like I said, they bisque glossy. I will still um, dip them in clear because I like the gloss around the side and the, the backs and the bottom. So I'll, I'll set them in my wax pot and, and then dip them in clear so that um, also, if I missed any spots in this phase, um, I can touch it up and then I dip it in the clear and then it comes out of the, the glaze, just gorgeous. And I like my bottoms or my edges sometimes to just be the natural clay look so that all the focus is inside the dish, especially with this baby. So let's watch some of this quick glazing. Which video are we on? I think this one's it. I'm really having a hard time seeing that far away. So let's try this video. Okay, so when I put a video up, it auto, um, it auto mutes my mic, so I have to remember to go unmute it and pull me back down. So what I've done is um, I thought I had record on when I glazed the first one and I did not. So I cleaned up my thing and I'm going to glaze the second little heart identical to like I did the first heart and then I'm going to show you both of them. Um, so you can see I did use black up there. So with this white, oh and I'm showing you what I did. Look at that. That's with the glazing we're gonna do here. So I'm gonna leave that sitting up there. So that is um, Teal Next Time. That is one of my favorite stroke and coat glazes, Teal Next Time. It's such a bright and pretty color. So um, I don't want to glaze the whole heart. I just wanna put some, let's use Chris's word, some swoopy splashes in there. Um, so that's what we're gonna do in here. And right there, I was showing you what we did last week in Slab the Fab. So I have these bottles that, as you can tell, I do color my hair and I can give you that color if you wanted. But I use the little bottles that I get from the beauty supply store. Last week, I cut the tip off. It was too much. This week, I didn't cut the tip off. And do you see how much prettier the, the swirl with the black is? So when you, um, when you do this swoop in here, I have the white, the cotton tail still wet because I want this to um, ride over the top and blend some of that white into it. I don't want just a sharp teal stripe. I want it kind of blended with the, the white to be kind of cloudy, dreamy, just not stark. So that's what I'm doing here. And you will find, because these swoop up, <laughs> thanks Chris, you gave me a new word. Because these sides do swoop up, you kind of got to take that brush and swoop it up and over that edge. And then I do like to add a little dab of color to that bottom of that heart. Now the fun, now for the fun. Um, I don't know how long I'm gonna talk before the fun comes because when it was actually creating this video, I, I don't remember everything that I was saying. But what I do like to do, I, I think I'm gonna move that heart on the top. What I do like to do is um, start my, uh, stripes, let's call them, above where my heart is. Because if I just start it right at the heart, what if I squirt out a big blob? And I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna squirt a big old blob. 
So see how I'm practicing over on the side? I'm testing my bottle to make sure it's coming out correctly, again, before I go over my T's, um, because I don't want to ruin it. And I start up above it and then come into my heart. When I get the rhythm and the stream that I want, um, if I just started right in my heart, I could make a total mess. Now, speaking of mess, yes, I did make a mess. I have to clean that up off my template, but see, that's why I just used one of my old templates because then I can wipe it up. Normally what I would do is flip that template over and have the black side up because you can just wipe it right off the black side super easy. But I used the brown side up on this so that y'all could see what I was doing much better. So um, who said their daughter is getting married? Susan. Yes, these would be, I, you know, I saw they'd be great party favors, but I hadn't read the whole thing. Susan, you could make so many party favors so quickly. Did you see how quick that was? I mean, this whole thing start to finish wasn't very, very long at all. Um, I love these and love, um, thank you, Stacy. Love that technique with the lines. Yeah, just remember, Start it above your piece, get your flow, get your flow going for the swoop and hit that tip and, um, and they make gorgeousness. Again, when you bisque fire these, they could virtually be done um, if you weren't using them functionally. Um, but like I said, I do like to dip them in clear. Let's see, um, love the way you let the lines flow as they are and not trying to have all look the same. Oh yeah, nope. Uh, they look the same in um, spirit, but not identical. And I don't like identical. Um, I'm not sure what I was telling you guys there. Oh, maybe using a, a larger rim template and get a bigger side. Um, so let's see, Michelle, you are coming in late. No worries. No worries. Um, this replay will stay here and, um, you will always have access to it. We have just made, been making, um, little hearts. That's the heart dish. I think I showed that to you a little bit ago. That's one of the heart dishes I did with my new pen. Um, who keeps breaking up? Chandra? It should not be on my end as I have, I'm at my son-in-law's with the, um, the, the super duper internet. Is anybody else having intermittent problems? If not, um, gets out about two words and then it stalls. Uh, who is that? Chandra, you might wanna go out and come back in and that might take care of that because it doesn't appear to be anybody else having the issues. So um, try going out and coming back in, that should help you. Okay, um, let's see. So do you see yourself making these? Now, this is, I mean, you can do that technique that I just did on any forms or any dishes and, and it'd be gorgeous. I just think on these, the, the whimsy of the heart just fits with this technique. They look like when they're, oh, I was gonna pick it up and show you, but I'm not at my house. They just look like little pieces of candy. I really like the way you swoop the black over the color on the bottom of the heart. Yeah, I love that. And if you put yourself a template down, um, if you put yourself a template down, put the black side up because your excess glaze will wipe right off. Again, I did it. I did the brown so that you guys could see better. Um, do the forms come in different depths? Yes, ma'am, they will, but no, ma'am, they're not ready yet. Um, we are, um, I think it might be Facebook if you're using the app. I have the same issue. I went to Facebook through my browser on my iPad. Oh, yeah, Deb, it might be Facebook. Um, 
we will we will be bringing out the the taller forms um in fact we could be bringing them out next week uh but we always test a form first see how people like it before we go into the depth and it will be the two deep and the three deep and both of those will have the um, finger holds so that you can get them out and not have to dig down in to try to grab one um Y'all see how many times I stick my fingers in my project. I could never get the other forms out um, without flopping my sides. If you can get it out, love you for that. I could never do it. So, uh, love the whimsy. Kathy says, love the whimsy. Let's put that up there. Like the whimsy gives you a more contemporary heart. Yeah. Yeah. And love these baby hearts. Who is saying that? I see, I just see Facebook user over here. Um, love these baby hearts. They would sell like hotcakes. Oh, that was Miss Rachel. Thank you, Rachel. Let me get you back off of there. Um, I'm excited. Uh, I don't know where I just started this whimsy look. It's just, it's my thing. Can't get to your site to order them. Doreen, um, you can't get to SharonHoppyDesigns.com. That would be the site, SharonHoppyDesigns.com. Um, message me or email me at info at SharonHoppyDesigns.com. And this evening or tomorrow, I will help you if you don't get there prior to that. Now, I'm going to play one more video and this video is kind of our evolution of the heart. Um, and it's kind of our evolution and how we started with the heart form. It was our very first form and then went to the dual drapes um, and where we are going. So let me play this one. Okay, let's talk evolution of our hearts. So. Our very first hearts, when we very first started this, was these, the wide hearts in a form shape. That was this. Now, I just glazed this with copper wash. I have not fired it yet. But this one happened to be a six and a half. And with our rim template. And what a beautiful heart it is and will be. And we did these a couple years ago. So then we changed out to, let me move these. We changed out to having or added dual drapes. And these are the wider original sweetheart dual drapes. And again, that was our, these were our very first forms. Our fun shapes that we started creating um, because there was a need for, something besides or something just kind of out there more fun um then we came out with the rachel hearts which instead of wide they're more straight up and down like a normal heart and then the drape for that as well these are our rachel hearts this year whoops this year we came out with a magnificent magnificent whimsy whimsy hearts there's the forms with the angle here are our dual drapes look at that amazing amazing whimsy here is one that i did last week however as you're going to see tonight here's a whole here's a whole plate full look at those these were all draped over on the baby, and this one was pushed, the baby, as well. And um, here's one I started glazing tonight with the new, um, don't fall, with my new, oh, my heart's pen. Um, and I got to tell you, it is so deep. It is almost too deep um any deeper and there would be problems it is just magnificently deep and i can't even show you how deep on the screen but that's what this is going to be 
when I finish glazing that. But I just wanted to, to show you our brand newest, brand newest in our line of hearts, that whimsy. Um, last year we made this um, for our Slab the Fab Society, our little rattles. We made. Okay, that was actually supposed to be the first video, and and I moved it to the back. So you've seen the heart, and uh, you've seen seen all of that backwards on here. So um, I will get that pin listed. Um, like I said, we'll stay here. My internet at home is. There's one word for it, and I can't say that online. So use your imaginations. But so I come up here, I get my stuff all done, I get all my filming done, and then I come up here and I upload it and all of that, um, all of that kind of thing. I will tell you guys what time is it. Okay, I got a minute. I will tell you. You all know that we were we're looking to sell out and move to a lake. Well, my son wants to buy my property in my house, which yeah, keep it in the family, then we can still use the property and go hunting. So that's perfect. Um, and we're moving down to the lake and we're setting up the business down there. So when we start holding workshops, it will be at the lake. And at the lake, <clears throat> there's a restaurant at our marina. There's little cabins you could rent at the marina. We have our houseboat. Don't get too excited. It's empty and... Uh, we have completely gutted it, but I'll be videoing along the way um, so you can see how that progresses. That goes from an icky old, it's 50 foot, but it's old and it's icky, but you'll get to watch that progress. Um, but the internet down there is awesome. So I will be able to just jump in randomly and do lives, actually lives in my studio where I've got my stuff handy. Um, so I'm really excited about that, and we're hoping that's going to be very soon. Uh, let's see. Who said heart sell Cindy? Heart sell all year, not just Valentine's Day. Yes, they do. They do sell all year. And like I said, you saw, you saw how quick that glaze was, and then you kind of got a peek at some other little styles of that glaze. Um... But you can do all kinds of fun things like that in minutes, in absolute minutes. So that's what I had for you tonight. Um, anything else? Anybody has a request, um, a question? Thank you, Jen, um, for posting that link for us. Anything else before... I run to the little girl's room before our Slab to Fab starts. Oh, we did open um, the wait list. We are looking at um, getting closer to um, opening the society up. I still have more classes to get up before I do that, but we are going to start putting info out there. Can't, uh, um, I can't show the pin again because I'd have to find it on the video because I'm not at my house. I'm at my son's, but I am going to put that up and I'm going to put a little video out of the rolling pin. Um, so watch for that. It'll um, come real soon. Let's see. Oh, Miss Stacy says, I just added more whimsical hearts and will email you to combine my orders. Yes, please. Email me to combine those. Um, so that I will catch that. We try to catch that, but can't always. So yes, please email me and thank you for your support. Whoops, missed you. Okay. Um, so I will show the pin. We will put it out. Could you make an herb pin? Yes. Um, will there be more stamps? There will definitely be more stamps. Um, which or what stamps is it that you would like to see? Is it a stamps off a pen or different style of stamps? Um, let me know in the comments or email me or message me um, and uh, we'll get working on those. But thank you guys for joining us tonight and 
next week, um, I'll try to just post a video in here next week. We won't be doing a live next week. Um, we will be in Arlington at a training session for new and upcoming things. Um, and we will be in training from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, so there's no way that we can get, it's, it's an hour away. And so there's no way when we don't get out till six that we can do that. But the training is only on Thursday and it is a training we don't want to miss. Uh, and you will benefit, trust me, you will benefit from that. Can you do stamps or molds for feet? Yes, ma'am, we can do that. Uh, Y'all need to get her, who said that? Y'all need to get her Christmas stamps and make amazing ornaments. Thank you, Jen. Um, anyway, so that's all that I have for tonight for tonight. Um, I will be putting little things up through the week. And remember, we won't be here Thursday. We will be in training, but we will be the following week. And my slabbers that are in here, my Slab the Fab Society, I will see you in about 15 minutes. Bye-bye.